You're watching Filter Copy. My name is T.S. Sudhir. On Thursday, the National Testing Agency, the NTA, clarified that it is not possible to provide exam centers outside India for NEET 2020. It also said that the entrance examination for admission to medical colleges cannot be held online and has to be held in a single shift at the same time to maintain uniformity. Now, these are the three points that the NTA said yesterday. Now, this was basically in response to demands by students and parents who are living in the Gulf countries that like the JEE, the Joint Entrance Examination for Inter Admission to IITs and NITs, they should be allowed to take the NEET also outside India because of the prevailing circumstances and COVID-19 pandemic. Now, close to about 4,000 students take the NEET in the Gulf countries and the usual practice every year of course is to choose an exam center which is most convenient for them to travel to from Dubai or Doha or Muscat wherever they are but this time given the flight restrictions they have requested for a test center anywhere in the Gulf. They signed an online petition, they wrote letters to the Prime Minister of India, to the Education Minister of India, to the Health Minister, to the National Testing Agency Director General but none of that has managed to make an impact. The offline examination, as we know, is scheduled to be held on the 13th of September 2020 as per the NTS uh, decision of 3rd July. Now, the question is, is the request by these students who live in the Gulf unjustified? Is it unreasonable? And to my mind, I think no, it is not unreasonable because the NTA could do well to be a little flexible in this regard, especially when it says that it is doing everything in the larger academic interests of students. Now, let's examine the issue in detail and see why the students are seeking what they are seeking. Point number one, there are no commercial flights operations right now between India anywhere in the country. When I asked the NTA about this, the response was that the Vande Bharat flights which are flying right now could be made use of to travel to India for the examination but that is not really without complications because anyone comes in, the rule book says that they need to be in 7 days of institutional quarantine and 7 days of isolation in home quarantine which adds up to 2 weeks. Point number two, usually what happens is that there is a significant gap between the JE and the NEET. Sometimes it extends to almost a month. Uh, so children can comfortably travel back to India uh, and go when they appear for the NEET. Uh, and now it is obviously complicated because of the pandemic, the quarantine rules and lack of regular flights. Then there are other issues also because obviously these students will also come accompanied by at least one parent. Now parents accompany children to India for such examinations will also obviously have to undergo quarantine for 14 days in India and then 14 days when they go back home to whichever country they live in, in the Gulf. It could be the UAE, it could be Qatar, it could be Bahrain, anywhere. Now parents tell me in most companies this would be deemed as unpaid leave and that's not a very good situation given how precarious the job scene is right now. Point number four, the irony is that the NTA conducts the JE in the Gulf countries. In fact, it conducts the JE in nine cities outside of India and these include Dubai, Singapore, Bahrain, Muscat, Doha, etc. Now, the problem comes for students who have enrolled to take both the JE as well as NEET because then the gap is not there. Suppose the JE is scheduled between the 1st and the 6th of September. Let's imagine that their date falls on the 3rd or the 4th of September. Is there sufficient gap between leaving for India and also taking the NEET on the 13th? No, because you need to undergo a 14-day quarantine period. So that will make it very, very tough. Parents tell me that the Kerala engineering entrance test was conducted in Dubai on the 16th of July. So they ask if JEE and Kerala entrance test can be conducted in Dubai, why not the NEET? Now, point number six, parents from the UAE, a significant num number of them who have been in touch with me over email, tell me that they are not really seeking an online examination. Uh, what the parents are saying is that just like the CBSC, which conducts its 10th and 12th class board examination, a pen and paper examination every year in schools in the UAE, NEET could also be done in the same way, a pen and paper examination, not an online examination. There is another practical problem which has been highlighted by these parents. They say that the schools are scheduled to open in the UAE on the 1st of September, which will mean that if they leave from uh, UAE to come to India to take the NEET 
uh, on the 13th of September, they would end up missing 14 plus 14 days of school time. It is a huge academic loss for the students. But what does the NTA say? The NTA has been adamant that none of these demands can be met. Okay, And here is why they are saying so. It says for one do not compare the JE with the NEET because that is for admission to engineering colleges. This is for admission to medical colleges. Of course, we know that. It says JE is an online examination. NEET is a paper and pen organization um, um, examination. We know that as well. Now, according to the NTA, and this is important, the question papers and other exam material have to be physically transported from the NTA headquarters in Delhi to more than 6,000 centers across India, which needs diligent planning for the safe conduct of the examination. That point is well taken. Though what is being implied is that if the question paper is sent outside India, there is some kind of an apprehension that it could get leaked or that NTA may not have total control over it. The point that I want to humbly make is that the students are making this request because these are obviously extraordinary circumstances. They have not made this uh, request in earlier years, but this is an extraordinary situation because of the COVID-19 pandemic and could a one-time exemption be made. Why is it that the agency is thinking only about its side of the problem? Why is it that it is not bothered about subjecting 4,000 odd candidates to having to travel to India and creating a lot of difficulty for themselves? Why can't an attempt be made to make things easier for these students whose cause the NTA claims to represent? It says that it will take every decision in the larger interest of the student community. Now, parents say that if the NTA insists on a single day, single shift examination at the same time for everyone, which is absolutely fair, the same can be done according to the Indian Standard Time IST with coordinating with the authorities in the Gulf countries. Now, the authorities in the Gulf can supervise it and surely India can enter into some kind of an arrangement for the purpose of this single day examinations. Last point, parents ask when the NTA can make arrangements for the examinations and transport this exam material to areas which are really in far-flung far -flung areas across the length and breadth of the country, including towns which are located in the hinterland, why should it be difficult to set up and arrange an examination in the UAE or Qatar or Bahrain? Why can't the NTA do so in these difficult circumstances? So the ball is now in the Supreme Court and we'll have to wait and watch what the Apex Court of India finally decides. Thank you very much for watching.